SmackDown was very lackluster tonight. To be honest, I actually wasn't even going to cover tonight, but you know what? I actually wanted to stay consistent. So, um, here we are. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, wrestling with conversation. Um, this is about Friday Night SmackDown, April 22nd, 2022. Um, like I said, SmackDown is very lackluster. Nothing more memory, nothing you actually remember from tonight's show. I'm actually not going to make this video too long. Um, Charlie Flair, Randy Rouse, Adam Pierce, and Drew Gallup has opened the show tonight. It wasn't much, really. They just talking mess to each other. How Randy Rouse says she's going to take the champion from her. Randy Rouse says she beat her at WrestleMania. Randy Rousey said she made her tap out. Then Charlie Flair flipped the table over, got a kendo stick, started hitting her with it. It was very awkward, just a huge mess. Then at the end, Randy Rousey got Drew Gallup, put him in a submission, signed the contract. One much to it, so. And then we have Butch versus Xavier Wood. This was a uh, match. What, um, this was another match we seen last week. It really wasn't much different. Xavier Woods wins with the roll up, and then Butch starts going crazy. Pete Dunne starts going crazy. He got a riddle of Sheamus and Rich Holly went through the crowd. And then we have uh, Gonta, a squash match. Basically, you know, showing what he can do, you know, showcasing him and whatsoever. Now, I'm a fan of Gonta, but like I said, they not really doing much, so I'm really not paying attention. He actually can do a whole bunch with Gunter, but like I said, you know, it, it was a tiny roster. Not much you can actually do with plenty of these rosters on there. I mean, he could go at the Roman Reigns, but they building him up to all the way to next year's WrestleMania. The Intercontinental Champion, Ricochet, he could take that and go on a dominant heel run. But like I said, there's barely people on SmackDown for him to run through the division, mid-corner division. Okay, so basically I didn't actually get a picture, but um, it was a best stage seven between Ricochet and Aaliyah. She was saying how he beat it. Um, Ginger Mahal, how he beat a Hambacho and Angel Garcia, whatever. And then Shank and Ginger Mahal came by. Ginger said he was a phony champion and Shank challenged him to an Intercontinental Championship match. And that was about it. And we get RK Bro Sammy, they talking, Randy Yord and Matt Riddle is talking backstage. Then here comes Drew McIntyre. And then Matt Riddle said, "What well, the past is the past. And then Randy Yord buried the hatchet with Drew McIntyre. Then they head to the ring. Matt Riddle and Jay Uso has been the best thing on this show. It was literally the only best thing on this show. They had a good match. The couple things I like about this match was well, Jay Uso, he hit the Randy Yord move on the announce table. Um, he dominated most of this match, to be honest. Um, Matt really did get a little bit of momentum on him. Um, he comes with a comeback, hits the kick to the face, he reverses it, went for a running knee. Jay Uso hit a super kick as they both fall to the ground. Uso get on top rope, and then Matt really puts his knees up, went for the hangman DDT, setting up for RKO. Jimmy gets on the uh, apron, Randy Jordan. Gets Jimmy do a bad suplex on the announce table. Really goes for the RKO, but Jay Uso, I guess he was trying to go for a Samoan drop. He instead he put it into a pop up net breaker. Goes for the corner since I bomb really with another running knee, but Jay Uso super kick him. Goes for the frog splash, but Matt really got the roll up pin. The best thing that happened on this show. We get Sasha Banks and Naomi heading to the ring. Uh, in ring interview by Kayla Brassen. They talk about how they make the tag team championship relevant. A lot of folks saying they're making it relevant, but they have to realize there is literally nobody for them to face except the people that came out, which was Natalia and Shannon Blazer. 
Shayna Blazer and Natalya challenged them for the uh, WWE Women's Tag Team Champion after Shayna Blazer pushed it. Sasha Blanks Naomi hold her back and basically setting up their match for the Tag Team Champions. We had to backstage segment with Barry Corbin and Mad Cat Moss. Barry Corbin came up to him and he said, listen, I'm going to be the bigger man. I will be willing to forgive you and we can go back to being partners. And then Mad Cat Moss said, hmm, so you want me to go back to being your sidekick? He said, yes. And then he said, the chances of us getting back together is the same chance of you getting back a full head of hair. And he started to laugh as Barry Corbin walked away. I don't understand why they break them up in the first place. I mean, they was good as a team. What was the point of breaking them up? I just don't understand it. And then we get Mad Cat Mouse versus Andrew Guanzel. Mad Cat Mouse, he wins by hitting the punch line on Andrew Guanzel. Then he celebrates the win out of nowhere. Barry Corbin comes out of nowhere and attacks him from behind and then he hits the end of days on him steals his trophy and then walks off now i don't understand what's with wwe having barry corbin stealing stuff nowadays like i said you should have kept them as a team now you have them running in pointless storyline i mean i'm guessing they trying to figure out what they want to do with these two but my guess is they're going to put them back together because Mad Cat Mouse on his own isn't getting anywhere just yet. Sami Zayn knocks on Roman Reigns' door and he told him how he acknowledged him, how he recognized him, and how he heard Drew McIntyre and RK Bro talking about him and how he's not scared of Drew, but he would need this win against him. And as he walked away, Roman Reigns is making his face saying, I can't, I have people talking about me running their name. Well, basically, Roman said um, that he, uh, he said he can't have people running their mouths about me on my show take my name at their mouths. So basically, he sent the Usos to go get um, RK Bro, in which I thought they was going to attack Drew McIntyre, but that wasn't the case. And then we get to the main event, which is the Lumberjack match. This was a Latin Luster match. Um, Drew McIntyre heads to the ring, Sami Zayn heads to the ring, and before the bell rings, the Usos came out, which gave Sami Zayn a bright smile on his face. The bell rings, Sami Zayn tries to escape the ring at least two times, but eventually the baby faces got him. Drew starts to attack him outside. Drew gets outside. Sheamus and Ridge Hollins attack him, puts him back in the ring. And then all of a sudden, they start to brawl for a little bit. And Drew, and Drew was going for Claymore. Sami Zayn rolled on, over the side where RK Bro was at. And they tried to pick him up. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, Uso's double super kick, Randy Yor, jumped on Matt Riddle, drove face face post to the ring post, and then walked out. And then that's when everybody else started fighting each other. Drew decided to jump over a top suicide dive, and they gave Sami Zayn the chance to escape as Drew gets back in the ring. And then Adam Pearce said there would be no running because next week it would be a steel cage match between Drew and Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, so they will be having a steel cage match next week. Charter Flair and Ronnie Rice will have a beat the clock match next week. Ricochet versus Shanky for the Intercontinental Champion will be having for the Intercontinental Championship next week as well. Um, Ginger Mahal and Shanky, they tried to jump on Drew McIntyre, but eventually Drew McIntyre got the upper hand. He took out Shanky and then went for the Claymore on Ginger Mahal as he celebrates towards Sami Zayn way, as you can see in the picture, and the show goes off. Like I said, it was a very lackluster show. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe. And thank you for tuning in, wrestling with conversation. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, have a good weekend.